Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here, and we're back with some more Sora Kagi. Uh, so last. <laughs> Alright, forgot to play. So last time we just did a. We just did a. What do you call it? A play? And, and then I got free reign to go. I guess I, I was supposed to go grab something. But uh, I'm gonna. Maybe I should just play without the mouse. I can't remember. Oh. Okay. Tell me, GB, what did you think of my show? That's great. It was impressive, Rosa. It was far better than the previous one. Are you talking about the Intergalactic Fashion Brigade show? Did you not enjoy it? <clears throat> uh, it's more like, uh, uh, uh... Gee, what was wrong with my previous fashion show? Don't put words in my mouth. All I said was today's show is better than the previous one. <laughs> Don't worry, I was merely teasing you. Today's show is filled with love and creativity. For a boy, you've always had great taste in fashion. I still am planning to collaborate with you again. Big sister. Big sister. Big sister told me I can't wear it yet, but look, big brother, look inside. The fabric looks so soft. I'm so excited to wear it, but... All the joy in Dottie's face only washes away. Oh yeah, isn't Dottie leaving? But then... I've just remembered which occasion this uniform was specifically made for. I don't think I... Don't think about that and just enjoy the evening instead. We're still all together for the time being. I suppose. Darling. Hello, sweet face. Interesting show, wasn't it? Now I understand why Rosa didn't take me as her model for the Queen of Hearts. She has always been hungry for attention, but before all else, it would have been hard to pull off such a showy dress when you have no décolletage to speak. Mm. I mean, to expose. Speak. And this makes me wonder, what is, is this flat chest really that unattractive? I don't really know how, what to answer. Mm. Obviously, you are a man with good taste in manners. Given the, giving this question a lengthy answer would be quite tasteless. But even then, sometimes I wonder if... You know what? Forget about it. Alexei looks away with her perplexity, coloring his gaze. As usual, I wish I could provide him some comfort, but it seems to be a more of a personal fight. Interesting. Can I talk to the people in the middle? Hey, Lizzie! You were amazing, Lizzie! You really made a perfect Alice, and that little dress you did, I mean, the little dance you did in the second uniform was so cool and cute. I'm so happy! You really think so? Because I loved being dressed as Alice. It's a, real, it's a good thing that I learned basic b ballet skills a few years ago. It came in pretty handy. I don't have enough free time for it, but I do have the secret desire to practice ballet again. Would you like to learn? Would you want to learn ballet with me, Leon, or Lion? Leon? Like, do fuck? I don't remember. I've never seen. I've seen that boys can also learn it. <clears throat> huh? Uh, maybe not. Not really my thing. Really, dude? That was your option, bro. What the? F why would you not take that? I guess you don't care that much. Leon and Elise, Elise, uh, keep discussing without even paying attention to anyone else. I quickly grow bored of listening to them. I still remember. Oh, I remember. I still remember Rosaline's, Ro Rosalind's first, first fashion show. She was 12 and built up a stage on her own. I also remember that she forced you to become her first boy model and you kept crying because you didn't like the clothes, you, the clothes she made you wear. Yeah. I still remember it and with hindsight, she really made me wear silly clothes. I was so embarrassed. You've always been a modest kid. Well, well, well. Giordano Bruno, when you volunteer for a task, please do it. Was it to get alcohol or no, refill the drinks? That's what I was doing, right? The show was pretty cool, not gonna lie. However. But did Rosa really have to flaunt around the two sacks of fat that sit right behind, beneath her chin? <laughs> Classic. Classic! Hello, everybody! What's the Wait, that's the wrong one. Hey, everybody, it's Peter Gamer! <laughs> Good. Gonna turn 20 t soon, and I can't, still can't drink alcohol. What a load of crap. What's wrong? Mm hmm? You look pale. Go eat or drink or something. I'm fine, I'm just feeling a little hot. Oh. Okay. Okay, dude. Just keep squatting over there, I guess. Take this! Intense gameplay. Sorry, where was I going? Do I have a thing that tells me what I'm currently doing? Because I feel like I need that with my shitty-ass attention span. Okay, well, erm... Um Oh, is that a ball in the front? Oh, I can't kick that one. Wait, I don't remember where to go. Please, somebody help me! <sighs> I hear myself constantly referring to you as kids, but now you're on the doorstep to adulthood. Doesn't make me feel any younger. Should I go myself? It's not typical of you to fool around like that. Uh-oh, am I getting a game over if I keep doing this? Oh no, she just stopped talking to me. Oh, she just straight stopped talking to me. She'd crush two skulls at once with those. They need to be categorized as potential mm. weapons. Weird thing to say. 
Of course you say something like that. You look at those big floppy boobs and instantly get around. <laughs> He's always so brutally upfront. Oh, I didn't say no though. Hmm. <laughs> 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 what you what dare you say that about me? Okay. How did I even get in here? Oh, there it is. Okay, so is that I, I I don't why is there an eyeball? Huff huff. Uh oh. Feeling a bit lightheaded. Was the wine really alcohol free? Huh? Uh oh. Are things about to happen? Not again. Two times in the same day. How? Wait. But. The, our bedroom? But I was outside a moment ago, and this uniform. What am I wearing? What's happening to me? I don't know. This just looks like a. like a shirt. Ow. Win? Oh, wind. <laughs> I thought I was wincing in pain. Where's this ear part piercing rumbling sound coming from? Who's there? Who's Owen? Owen. Who is it? Hey. Owen. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Still closed eyeball. My vision goes white again. My whole body feels completely weightless, as if my consciousness was leaving my body. I cannot feel anything except for this giddy agitation in my head. I regain my senses only when I feel a sense of se when I feel a sensation emanating from a particular area of my body. However, I'm unable to locate where it is coming from, or even what it feels like exactly. But as time goes on, the sensation gets more precise. It's on my back, and it slowly takes the shape of a large hand, gently rubbing the area just above my shoulder blades. It's gonna be okay. Close your eyes and focus, but keep watching for your breath. Huff, puff, blow your house down. Huh? O Orion? Were you were you the one calling someone named Owen? No. Huh? No, not me. Feeling any better yet? Um, I, uh... Hey. It seems pretty strong this time. Your body started twitching. It was so weird. I was here, in her bedroom, and... It's like you teleported. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. It's like you teleported. Mm. Yeah, that happens. Pretty rare, but it does sometimes. I talked about it to Doc once, during one of those useless psychologi psychological assessments. He seemed surprised, but simply brushed it off as simply deja vu. I think that. I ho I looked it up in the dictionary. It's not what deja vu. It's not what a deja vu is. Really? And what are you doing here? Did I make any sound? Have the others heard me? No. You seemed really pale and silent earlier. I just felt like something wasn't right. You're the only one that seems to go through that. I mean, you're the only one who seems to go through that too. It's just that. I think others do too, but simply don't want to talk about it. Either that or it's just not as frequent and intense for them. I hope it doesn't get any stronger. It's the first time that it happens twice in a day. This gets me worried. That was the wrong voice. Whoopsie doodle. I think it eases, uh, eases off at some point. It hardly ever happens to me anymore, at least not since... Since the incident. What? Since what? Don't say since the incident. Not the meme. Okay, he won't say anything at all. For someone as clever as you, you really do ask dumb questions sometimes. I know my mind's fucked up, but do stop talking to me like I'm some kind of nutcase. It's not it. I don't, I really don't. But... But what? What if these weird flashes... ...are what has caused your mind to become... ...hmm... ...disturbed? I don't know. Neither Newt nor Melissa lost their minds the way I did. I guess it's gotta be something else. Unless their brains have also gone to shit after leaving Donvale. But in that case, who can tell? <laughs> Giordano Bruno! Is there a problem? What are you both doing here? I thought you were supposed to get the bottles. Huh? I, uh, uh... Actually... He tripped over and twisted his ankle. I'm gonna go get the drinks. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Are you alright? Do you need me to escort you to the nurse office? It's okay. I I'm totally fine. It doesn't even hurt. What a relief. Aren't you a sturdy lad? Now then, we noticed that the sun was setting down and Dottie has yet to hang her wish. So we're heading down. We're heading to the uh, Bamboo of Wishes. Are you coming? <laughs> right. I forgot about that. I'm coming along. Lovely. Dottie, have you written your wish? <laughs> yes, I did it yesterday night. Well, you must be excited to hang it onto the bamboo then. In Dawn Vale, we have created our own tradition called the Bamboo of Wishes, which takes place the day before an apprentice's departure. 
This is a simple way to say goodbye and wish for the best. Dottie. Remember, Dottie, you attach your wish on the bamboo, then rip one of its leaves and put it in the bowl, resting its feet. You think about your wi wish very hard, and tomorrow, if the leaf isn't in the bowl anymore, it means it's flown away to the sky to the gods for the gods to acknowledge your wish and make it come true. True. If it's in the still, if it's still in the bowl, bowl tomorrow, well. let's just hope that the wind is going to do its job correctly. I still don't believe in this story of wishes and so-called deities, but who make them come true? About that. In other terms, if the wish wind rushes into this dome, you will most likely blow the leaf. It will most likely blow the leaf off the bowl and let you think your wish has been acknowledged by the celestial beings. It seems I'm not the only one who rationalizes this, this tradition. I I doubt any of us really believe in it, but at least it's comforting. Damn. Don't be a buzzkill, Alex. You know. I'm not getting my hopes up, but this is my wish, and I want it to become a reality. I'm sure it will, Dottie. Now attach your wish and pick a leaf. Hmm. Beautiful. We leave a moment of complete silence to seal off the tradition. The, 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 the tradition. While everyone remains focused on the bamboo, I quickly glance at them. Luca and Orion remain motionless, seemingly bored, while Rosa and Elise are standing next to each other, a soft smile adorning their faces. And as for Dottie, I notice that she's clasping her shaky hands tightly while mumbling something I cannot hear. I squint my eyes and look at her lips. I can almost discern them uttering the word please repeatedly. <laughs> well then, enough silence. So? So? I wonder what your wish is, Dottie. I'm convinced it is something full of love and good intentions. Can't be any crazier than Newt's farewell wish. I see. May zombies never rise from the grave. Hell yeah! Yeah, that one. He really was one of a kind. <laughs> to each their own. Uh, we have our own different ambitions and fears. But for Newt's sake, let's hope that our the, de the deads never truly rise from their graves. The deads? That sounds a lot like a weird, uh... <laughs> sounds like a, like a derogatory term for undead. It was damn deads. Uh... Now then, it's getting late. I hope- I think it's time for you kids to head to the villa. Why is there still an eyeball on the screen? Is that supposed to be there? Like, I really don't know. It has been a busy day- Because I know it shows up during, like, observing when I'm looking at items, but is it supposed to just stay there forever? <laughs> Change your diaper, burp your milk, and go to bed. That sucks. Doc, we're not babies anymore. What is that supposed to mean? Luca, don't question Doc's orders, would you? As a side note, a helicopter will be landing early tomorrow, so you'll need to be up with the with the lark if you wish to bid Dottie goodbye. And if I'm not mistaken, Elise has prepared a little surprise in the living room. Yay! Yes! Yes! I've retrieved something oops, sorry. I've retrieved something really great and I've already prepared everything for it in the living room. Elise scampers away zestfully. Right. Zestfully. Well, everyone, follow the leader. There's so many things being hinted at happening that's really ominous. Oh, wow. Nighttime. Uh-oh. Ding dong, bing bong. Following Aloe and Doc's call, we all carry out with our nightly routine, which consists of washing the dishes, tidying up the villa, taking a shower, jumping into clean pajamas, and studying for an hour. Everything goes as usual. And as the clock hits eight o'clock, as the clock hits eight o'clock, <laughs> just to make sure you remember it's a clock, Allo now notifies us that we're free for the rest of the evening. But since uh, Elise has already planned a little surprise for Dottie in the living room, I decide to head there directly. There's going to be something ominous, man. There's no way gr like graduating or whatever is going to be a good thing. It's going to be like a VTuber graduation. Whoa, this is some nice casual clothes and wear. Is this my pajamas? I look a lot like, uh, oh, and I don't have glasses. Wait, do I normally have glasses? I think I do. Where am I? Isn't this where the piano normally is? This trophy, this is a trophy I don't, a, a domain won eight years ago. It was for a sculpture contest held between different domains of the country. The only time we ever communicate with other domains. Obviously, we don't move out of Donville, and we made our sculpture here. Took a picture and set it for the jury to decide which domain would win. I guess our Silverstone Aphrodite was the best among all the other sculptures. Y'all went for Aphrodite? No wonder you guys won. Sex appeal, baby. That scared me. Leon! What is this? Resident Evil 4? Give it back! <laughs> what are those two doing again? Stop, 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 you idiotic dunce! 
Surprised by a tumultuous hubbub. Thank you. I'm so glad someone else has used the word hubbub so people stop thinking I've th made up a boomer term that doesn't exist. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am forcefully pushed against the wall by Luca as she's energetically chasing Leon across the room. I've never heard what I heard of agitated buffalo sound like, but if I had to imagine it, it would probably be similar to the ruckus these two are causing. Stop running! Alrighty! Give it back! What's going on again? Well, Luca made fun of Leon, so she's... Oh, so he's taking her favorite pillow away. Huh, I see. This happens every now and then. Give it back, damn it! What's it to you, Lulu? Aren't you a bit too old for this saggy piece of cloth bag? I keep, uh, don't you call, dare call it saggy. I'll give it back to I said give it back, you oafish minger. I don't know what that means. I hope that was okay for me to say out loud. Huh? Huh? What's that even supposed to mean? He called you, she called you idiotic and attractive. I mean, <laughs> idiotic and unattractive. I taught her this one. Hey! I'm not ugly. But you're an idiot. Oh, shut up, you. Hmm. What is this ruckus? We can all hear you all, down, all the way down. Yes. Hello, knock some sense into this dumbass. He's ho he's stolen my pillow. She kept pissing me off and calling me stupid and ugly. Oh crap, Allo is upset. Beneath Allo's courteous and gentle demeanor lies an inner beast. Curse words and bad attitudes are the most effective triggers to wake it up. She hardly ever gets upset, but when she does, we usually have one last chance to redeem ourselves. However, we, if you we don't, want to rectify your behavior. listen, you are not children anymore, so I'm sure you can find a proper way to end up this end. End this puerile fight without my assistance, can't you? Whoopsie. Yup. As I'm watching the scene unfurling before my eyes, it becomes clear the lioness has cornered her two helpless preys. Hope it said hopeless, but I think it's supposed to be helpless. I am almost find this uh, amusing, but I'm aware that letting even one tiny giggle out would attract the predator's attention. I suppress my amusement and quietly keep oh watching. Dear. Ooh, you two are in for a bad time. Aww. I'm sorry for insulting you, Leon. <clears throat> and here's your pillow. Sorry, Lulu. Did it, do, did it work? Did we dispel the beast? Wonderful. Perfect. That's far better. Well, then. Now you. then, I wish you all a lovely movie night. Don't you go bed? Don't go to bed too late. I'll watch the clock. Wow! 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 I just noticed something. Why is Dottie not with you, Elise? I thought she would- oh, I really like her outfit. I thought she would be with- uh, here with you. Cheech! Where is she again? That's annoying. Is this movie night ever gonna start? God. I'm so freaking edgy and just so serious about everything, but... I really, really want to watch Shrek 2. It's one of my favorite movies since childhood. God, will this movie night ever start? I just want to see the shenanigans that occur between Shrek and Donkey. We can't start start without her. I, I searched all over the domain and I and to find this tape just for Dottie. She can't be too far. She was in the bathroom earlier. We should go find her then. She probably hasn't noticed what time it is. Seriously? That's annoying. <laughs> Let's go then. I want to watch the Rococo show. Wait, I thought we were watching Shrek too. What the hell is the Rococo show? God damn it! I knew I was misinformed yet again. Can you shut up in the back there? Uh, Luca and GB are right. We can, let's go find Dottie. So where could uh, where could Dottie be? Well, I'm gonna stay here in case Dottie comes back. Is that an excuse to stay here and not search around? How insightful of you, darling. That's what I would do. I would just stand there and be like, "Yep, I'm helping. Got to cover all our bases." What a waste of time. I just wanted to watch Shrek 2, and now we gotta wait around for some person who didn't show up who's gonna leave anyway. And we're not even watching Shrek 2. What's the point of anything anymore? Aren't you coming to look for Dottie? Actually, she'll come back on her own. She's a big girl, not as big as Shrek, though. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh. Hello. No one's answering. That means I can just go in, right? That's how it works. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. We won't go there. What shenanigans are we gonna find? Do like, okay, here's here's my crazy guess, guys. Earlier, they're like, Dottie needs to hang her wishes. What? But what if they forget the wishes part? 
I sure would be suspicious, yes. Oh, right. I'm, I must not forget to water with Lisa's griffin paws in the greenhouse. That does not seem like a priority right now compared to finding a person, but okay. Mm hmm. I've been here already. If this thing, this game's gonna try to make me think I remember where the greenhouse is, it's gonna be sorely mist. Daddy, sweetie! I, to think the last time you watched this animated movie, Chosuke, Newt, and Wilma were still in Donzo. Yeah. It feels like a, well, such a long time ago. Watching it again will probably bring back some good memories. I suppose, yes. However, I feel like I might have grown out of watching cartoons since then, but I'm certain that watching it once more will suffice me with a bittersweet feeling of nostalgia. GB, do you ever feel like there are things that used to bring you joy, but now they don't seem to as much, so you end up forcing yourself to appreciate them? Honestly, with me, I feel like I've, I usually still appreciate things that I used to appreciate as a kid. I just don't think that... Uh, I feel like the, mo the, the world moved on a lot of the things I enjoyed as a younger person, and they stopped making that kind of content. But then what I end up doing is just going back and watching the originals. Because I know new ones won't exist. And then I still enjoy them just as much. So I think the world is wrong, and I'm the only one that's right. And sometimes it just doesn't work, no matter the effort. Do you believe that at some point you would, you would trick yourself into believing that you still enjoy that thing? Why would you want to force yourself to enjoy something you seemingly don't? Is that so? Either because you wish to hold on to the happiness it once provided you with... I think that... I guess you can learn to enjoy something, but forcing yourself to learn to appreciate it just won't do. If you can't bring yourself to like something naturally, it's simple that, simply that it's not meant for you, I guess. Yeah, that's me, with a lot of modern things. I feel like such a boomer, man. Like, I have a lot of examples. I don't know, I don't really want to go on a crazy ramble about it. But like, for instance, I enjoy older Zelda games more than newer Zelda games. That's the most obvious one that I've complained about a lot. And I, uh... Enjoy older cartoons more than newer cartoons. Because I felt like they had more of a fulfill fulfilling feeling, I guess, going through them. Like, Hey Arnold is awesome. I didn't appreciate that as a kid. Uh, there's some things that I like, I like that are more modern, but they're obviously like designed for current audiences, which uh, are different from what I like, I guess. Like, I don't know. I'm, I think there's more things like that, but I, it's always like a shock to me because I think there's like this, I'm doing something that I think a lot of people like and I realize that not a lot of people like it or they've moved past it and it sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. You are probably right. And I suppose tonight is the last time I'll be watching the Rococo Show movie. Was this only based around that cartoon? Anyways, I don't have to think of more examples, but in general, that's just how I feel. I'm just walking in a straight line until something happens. Steel bill. Uh oh. What if she's in the steel building? No one's ever made it past the first few rooms. Is this like a dungeon? Oh, I should probably save. Okay. So I guess she isn't here. Can I fast travel around the campus, I guess? Uh, to like... I don't know. Maybe to... Do you guys think she went back into that freaking classroom? The burnt one right there that I can actually realize is really burnt now? Let's find out. Ever since that night, Newton and Ryan caused a mess inside the bleeding. She locked the doors every evening. Oh. So there's no way in, is what you're telling me? Okay, well, I guess that's not what we're doing here. Oh, this is important. Perfect. I have an eye watching me constantly, and it's very terrifying. Where are you? Dotty? Are you dotting around down here? Okay, dude. 
I mean, you'd want to check the girl's locker room for a girl. Like, let's be honest, this is an emergency situation. If they're naked, they're just, it's just it's just a necessary setback, okay? Like, we're going to have to take the sacrifice. If someone is in the middle of changing in there, we just have to do it, all right? This is, this is an emergency. I don't think you understand how serious this is right now, Giordano Bruno. Uh, okay, well, that didn't help me. Let's go over here to the cafeteria. Are you having a coffee in here, Dottie? Dottie, you having a little bit of a coffee? You chilling in here, Dottie? You chilling with some coffee? No? Can I drink coffee at night? No, dang it. I wanted to speed run, bro. Dottie, are you in the cold room? Are you cold? Are you in the... Dottie? Okay. <laughs> that wasn't Dottie. That was definitely me as a ghost. But uh, that's interesting, I guess. I'm just gonna go over here now. Ah, oh, rats. Please go in the cold room. Please. I'm begging you. What if she's cold, bro? Okay. Hey, owl thing, do you know where Dottie is? Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for your help. Dottie, are you in the Greenwoods? Did you hurt your ankle? Dottie? Are you inside the shed? Are you a tool? Are you being eaten by these guys? Where do I go? Where else do I even potentially go? I feel like I've tried everything already. Could she actually just still be in the dorm somewhere? And I'm just overthinking it. What's over here? She's just she's she's just hanging out in the back. Great, good job, me. I'm a no one found her sitting here, but I mean I was gonna say that's how could possibly nobody find her? And then I realized I didn't find her. I walked around the entire freaking Demen without talking to her. Hey, Dottie. What are you doing here? It's getting chilly. Big brother. I'm okay here. The night, it's cal it's so calming and the moon is sitting right with us in the center of the dome's window. I thought it was the right place to look at this picture again. Which picture? Uh... Okay, so I recognize me. There's me. There's a very flirty guy. I think, I'm assuming this is uh, someone I don't know. This is, wait. Actually, this could be the guy who is all edgy now, before he was edgy. I think this guy is dead. Or gone. And this guy is, this girl's dead also. I don't know who this is. Maybe this is, I don't know who this is. Who's this? I don't know who that is. Who's- I know who that is. I know who that is. This is, uh, Dottie. This is, a uh, girl that I forgot. Elise. There we go. Right? No, no, this is Elise. This one's... Rosalind. Rosa? Rosa? Luna? I- f Dude, I'm mixing up names, but I know I recognize them, okay? By their faces. I don't know who these are. This whole row is confusing me. That's great! This group picture, I completely forgot about this. It was taken a couple of years ago. Yes, it was five years ago. A year before Wilma's departure and before Chosuke left us. This has become my most, uh, important belonging. I, I wish I every wish single, I wish every single apprentice would be on this picture, even though ones I didn't get to know. Well, Hedy, Leo, and Hawk left before you came to Donville. As for Mariko and Coper, well, you were still what? fairly young. But I wish I would have had the opportunity to know them better, Dottie. Why don't you come watch the movie with us instead of brooding here with this picture? At least search all over the place just to get a hand on your favorite movie. Because... It... It... It hurts! It hurts! It hurts being with you! All of you! Dottie's weeping shatters the healing melody of the night. And shatters something within me too! Each of her tears seem to reflect the moonlight as if the world was trying to emphasize her pain. Mm. Dottie, why does it hurt being with us? <laughs> because tomorrow I'm going to leave and probably never see you again! It hurts being with you, knowing that it's probably the last time. I sit next to Dottie and rest my arms around her shoulder. <laughs> if if I have to go to tomorrow, 
I won't. I, I and accept that I won't see you ever again. I want to be ready Don't now. Say that. Why would you think we'll never see each other again? Because it's true. It's all my fault. I stopped caring about everything like you told me. Oops, I skipped a link. That's a mistake. I w I should I should have worked, but I just couldn't. Everything was always so tiring. It's okay. There, there. It's okay. I start gently caressing the top of Dottie's head. I can feel that her frantic weeping is slowly fading into a calm sobbing. Mm. It's normal, Dottie. We all have moments like this when we don't feel like we have enough strength to do anything. I also went through this. Really? Yes. We're endowed, endowed with a large spectrum of uh, emotions. And sometimes we just don't really feel like overcoming any obstacles, which is only natural. Eventually, this feeling fades away. But for some people, like you, it takes longer. <laughs> like you specifically. It takes longer and more effort to recover. Don't blame yourself for this. It's normal. It's what you need to accept is... What you, need to, what you need is to accept and just tell yourself it isn't healthy for you and that you deserve better. And when that t day comes, you'll need to find the strength to fight this unpleasant feeling. In the, and in the meantime, if you'd be like, Oh my god, please use commas. Oh, you did, but I'm just fucking... Okay, let me read this again. Maybe this is my own fault. When this day comes, you will need to find the strength to fight this unpleasant feeling. And in the meantime, if you feel like you don't have the courage to do it yet, just tell yourself that someday you will. You will find a reason to get better. This whole ordeal might even become the reason for you to fight it. You will find the will to overcome it because I know that deep within you, you know the, that you deserve to be happy. <laughs> Big brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There, there. Dottie rests her head against my chest, which I respond to by wrapping my arms around her. It feels like hugging a soft teddy bear close to me. Don't take advantage of the situation, me. For, the brief, for a brief instance, it reminds me of that time when she was four and an angry crow lunged at her. What? My first reaction was to hurl myself upon Dottie to keep her safe. Bro, why don't you just punch the crow? If I remember that, I remember that that afternoon, Aloe spent half an hour disinfecting all the scratches on my back. Sure was scary, but I was happy to be here to protect one of my loved ones. I was there to protect Dottie, and the years later, I'm still here to do it. Yeah, you're, you just death flagged her. Thanks, good job, dude. Time flies by and the atmosphere keeps getting colder. Slowly I can feel that Dottie's finally calming down. I don't know if this moment of tenderness was meant to heal her, but somehow I feel like it has healed me too. Was I hurt? Oh, I, I guess I might have Well. Been. All right. How about we go back inside the villa? Everyone is probably waiting for us and it's getting pretty cold. Uh, okay. Okay. Living room. At least it's not a dying room. The dazzling moon has risen into the tenebrous sky as this night has entirely wrapped Dawnville into its obscure coat. Outside, we can hear the sus of the nightly zephyr, while inside, the, the sound, sound of the TV resonates through the entire villa. Look, he, look, he, look, he is depressed. He's like, oh, god damn it. I still think we should have watched Shrek 2. As everyone is silently sitting in the different sofas at our disposal, a feeling of peace enchants the room. Seeing everyone gathered together with uh, joy beaming on their faces, it feels very comforting. The television ra flashes before my eyes and brings me down memory lane. Deep inside, I can tell I have a mid outgrown this movie genre, but even then, I make sure to enjoy every last bit of this evening. No one says a word, no one shares a single look, but even so, I can feel a profound sense of togetherness. Wow. What a great three screens of content. I still think we should have watched Shrek 2. Can you shut up? All right. So. So, was the movie fun, guys? It was. It totally was. So cute. Pauline and Poppy were so cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't bring much of the story. Hey, yes, they do. They, uh, they prepared that coffee that real quick was spilled over the alien who was shapeshifted as Yuki. Eh. Yeah. Another, cho uh, another noisy chase me around the room starts between Luca and Leon. Uh, I'm way too tired to deal with that with those two. You look strained, Allo. You should have joined us. I wish we'd have to round out some extra work for tomorrow's class and fill in the form for Dottie's registration in the rehabilitation center. Everyone. Now then, time for bed. Everyone needs to be full of energy for tomorrow. Good night then, boys. Good night, everyone. Bye, gals. Good luck. Uh, good luck. <laughs> good night, Lissy. Bye. Good night. Boys' bedroom. All right. All right, guys. Time to listen to Morpheus's lullaby. What now? Have a restful night of full of sweet dreams. Look at those missing beds. I mean, people. Huh. Ain't sleeping kind of weird. What do you mean? Huh? Where's that coming from? Think about it. 
It's like some sort of worldwide ritual that everyone does. You dress up in special clothes, lie down, and put yourself in some kind of comatose state all the while while having vivid hallucinations for the next few hours. It's weird. <sighs> uh, here goes Lion with another existential crisis. Existential crisis spelled slightly wrong. You're laughing about it, but life is weirder than it seems. A few days ago, I read that some people could hear colors. <sighs> I suggest you study such matters with a little more seriously, a little more seriously before sharing conclusions that ultimately omits a lot of details. Hmm. Sorry, sorry, all right. I'll be down to study things like that. I'm just too dumb to understand them. If you keep belittling yourself, belittling yourself like this, you're really not going to achieve anything. Yeah, maybe. Hey. By the way, I think Aloe's probably in her room now. So, we're still going. We plan that ahead. The girls will be upset if we don't join them. What? Orgy? Yeah, yeah. You coming, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. I guess we can do another damn orgy even though I wanted to watch Shrek 2. Piece of shit. Good. Great. Let's go, then. <laughs> Let's go! To the girls' room. Save. Okay, right, guys. Well, we're going to go to the girls' room at nighttime. On the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. And check out all the links in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. What's my hands doing? I don't know. Goodbye.